Mike, he, he did a really nice job today. You know, he started pitching backwards about after the third inning, working with his changeup, his breaking ball, and threw it out of the strike zone with two strikes. Um, you know, he just changed his pattern totally after, after the third inning. He pitched well. He got to the very end. You know, he's got a good arm. Uh, I thought Zach did a really nice job for us. We just had one more rough inning there. After after the third inning, I don't think they got a hit after that, but you know they, they made him count in the third inning. Um, and we just had a couple opportunities. Just the big opportunities we had were in the sixth and seventh inning. We basically loaded one out, nobody out. A big hit there. We hit the ball really well. Uh, Reed hit the ball really well. Just happened to be at somebody in one of the innings. But um, a good ball game on both sides. Pretty clean both sides and. Um, you know, I thought both teams pitched well. They just made their hits count in the third inning. Jack, you had seven hits. Uh, it just seemed like you couldn't get any timely hitting today. What do you attribute that to? You know, just <laughs> it just didn't. But yesterday we got the timely hits and things kind of worked our way. And today they got the timely hits and, and uh, got some in the right spots and uh, got some leadoff men on it. And it really was just the third inning that, that uh, came back to haunt us a little bit. We had a couple opportunities in sixth and seventh, and other than that, it was a good ball game. It was close. Uh, just gotta put it behind us and come back and be ready to play more. Probably what you see from their pitching. You had a couple hits, but um, in terms of uh, how they were working the rest of the lineup, um, Winkoff did a really nice job. He uh, started mixing his pitches, like Coach said, near the third inning, and. Um, kept us off balance a little bit, and I think that's what kind of got to us. But at the same time, you know, we made some necessary adjustments that we needed, had people on base, and just didn't come up with a big hit. So uh, credit to him, though. He did a great job, and uh, I expect this to bounce back tomorrow. Zach, a little frustrating. I mean, they, they hit some balls hard, and a lot of them were I mean, several hoppers that kind of just seeing eyeballs. Yeah, uh, that was frustrating. Um, to start off that inning, though, I made Three, the worst three pitches they throw, and I had a double, the double, and then hit right after that. And after that, they're kind of been seeing our singles, and they got some runs for the left on base earlier. But uh, yeah, I think some big hits there at the end, but they did a good job. What was the key to you rebounding after after that inning? Um, kind of switched up the, not the pitch calling, but the approach kind of threw uh, more off speed. They were really helping fastball, so started switching up and getting ahead in the count with off speed. Do whatever I want from there. Jack, I know you say that this series doesn't define your team or your season, but you got a chance to win the series for the first time since 2010. Um, just what would it mean to you to get that win tomorrow? It would mean a lot. You know, we're going we're, to we're win every single game and we'll be ready to play tomorrow. And, uh, you know, my biggest concern right now is just, you know, we're playing well. You know, I feel good about our team. I feel good about where we are mentally, where we are physically, where our pitching is, where our swings are and our approach, and that's the most important thing right now. So, if I'm, you know, our, our job right now is just to get on the bus, gather ourselves, um, you know, be ready to play tomorrow. Tyler, will that be the main goal for tomorrow? Because you guys haven't hitting the ball pretty well, but just to shake this off in less than 24 hours? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we want to win this series. We know how important it is for both sides. Um, both teams are very competitive, and uh, it's a fun atmosphere to play in. Uh, can't wait to get there tomorrow, and I expect us to play well because um, I feel like we have the players to get this thing done. And you know, I love my teammates and my coaches, and I can't wait to play tomorrow at 12.